Hi, I'm Stephanie, a trichologist, also known as a hair and scalp expert. Oh gosh. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is not actually a trigger for dandruff, but you may notice some mild flaking. Psoriasis is a condition in itself, and you'll usually notice scaly appearance to the scalp rather than free flakes. Tinea capitis, ringworm. Tinea capitis is a condition in itself, also a fungal infection, but not quite the same as dandruff. <laughs> Eczema. Eczema is a condition in itself. It doesn't actually trigger dandruff, although it is common to have dandruff and eczema. <laughs> Malassezia furfa. Malassezia is a primary cause of dandruff. For most people, it lives on the scalp without causing any issues, but for some, its interaction with sebum will create an adverse effect and cause dandruff. <laughs> the weather, hot or cold. Hot weather is usually better for dandruff, and cold weather usually triggers it. <laughs> Hats. Hats can trigger dandruff, because keeping your head covered can provide the perfect environment for bacteria and fungus to grow. Stress. Stress does trigger dandruff, mainly because it lowers the immune system and promotes oil production, thus feeding the fungus malassezia. Pollution. Pollution is not a direct trigger of dandruff, however, it does provide a great environment for malassezia to thrive. Seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is not a trigger of dandruff, it's actually the more extreme form of dandruff. <laughs> Diet. Diet can trigger dandruff, particularly if you are eating foods high in saturated fat, dairy products and high sugar.